Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rob DJ Ville back once again with another fragrance review. This fragrance review was actually inspired by a fellow YouTuber by the name of Sebastian. He's got his own channel, looking, feeling, smelling great. He recently did a video in which he laid out 10 fragrances that you should have if you're starting your fragrance journey. Like if you want to have these fragrances that are like your foundational uh, cornerstone pieces to kind of build from, he gave fragrances that he suggested and I really liked the idea. And I kind of wanted to expound on that and go a little bit further. So I'm going to actually pick different categories of fragrance and not say that you should pick every one that I list, but you could pick any one of the ones in the list and use that as a baseline to start your journey uh, for that particular note. So let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so the first category I wanted to tackle was the uh, masculine slash barbershop fragrance uh, category. This is one that I think a lot of guys, you know, would actually enjoy. You know, so it's not like this fragrance is too feminine or this fragrance is too sweet. I feel like the average guy is going to want that masculine fragrance, so I feel like that's a good place to start as far as, you know, which ones do I need uh, or what's out there that's good, that's proven to be good, that I can actually use that would work for me and could be a staple in my collection. So, first ring us up is Kenzo Jungle Pour Ohm or Jungle Ohm. Um, this is a really nice, masculine, woody fragrance. It's not actually barbershop, but it's got that really clean, fresh, aromatic vibe to it. And it's not just cedar, because cedar is like the base note of this fragrance, but you've also got uh, cinnamon, you've got nutmeg, you've got cardamom, and some other notes. Uh, this is a little older of a fragrance. I think it came out like in 2000 or early 2000s, but it's a really nice fragrance nonetheless. And I think it would work as a masculine fragrance in your collection. I can't recommend this one enough. Only caveat to this fragrance is that it comes in, if you look for it, you're gonna see two different boxes. One box is gonna be white with brown. It's like a picture of like a jungle or like some shrubbery or something like that. Uh, and the other one is gonna be totally just burgundy with the green square in the middle that's gonna say Kenzo uh, Ohm uh, Jungle. Or Ken, it's gonna say Kenzo Jungle Ohm, if I'm not mistaken. No matter how it's like laid out, that's the way the box looks and that's the box you wanna pick up because that's the older formulation, all right? That one performs really well and would be a great base piece for your collection. All right, so Kenzo Jungle Ohm. Moving on, as I always like to do things a little bit different, next fragrance uh, is, I think, right up the alley of somebody just starting out that wants a masculine fragrance uh, as a staple of their collection. And this one is Dr. Harrison Company Windsor. This is actually a splash, but you can purchase this in a spray. This is a really nice vetiver citrus with leather frag that would work great. It's very masculine, it's clean, it's classic smelling. It does have that barbershop vibe without being like a typical lavender barbershop type fragrance, but it's a great fragrance nonetheless. It performs well, it's classic but modern. And I think that's the key. You want to have something that's classic, masculine, but modern. So Dr. Harrison Company Windsor is a great piece to add to your collection. All right. Next up is one from one of my favorite houses, and this is the house of Lalique. This is Lalique Pour Own. This is a woody aromatic fragrance. It's got this creamy smoothness to it. Uh, it's got a little bit of vanilla, uh, it's got the woods, it's got some other notes that help to complement this one, but this to me is a 
Uh, again, a nice masculine fragrance that's woody. It's got sweetness and creaminess to it, but it doesn't go in that direction too far to where it would make some guys uncomfortable. This is a classic masculine fragrance and you can get it on the cheap. This is a 4.2 ounce bottle and I think this bottle can be had for about $39.99 or less. Lalique makes quality fragrances. You're gonna probably have to find this one online. You may not see it in your regular brick and mortar retailer, but I think it's worth the look to check this online and pick this up. This could be a great piece as a foundation frag for your collection. All right, Lalique, pour on. From the house of Dunhill, one of my favorite classic men's fragrances in my collection, period. And this is Dunhill for Men by Dunhill. This fragrance to me is a classic masculine male fragrance that has been updated. Check all the boxes. This is a fragrance that will impress those that matter, okay? Those that matter, that smell this, they're gonna like this, you're gonna get compliments. I've gotten compliments. This fragrance has got geranium, it's got uh, tonka, it's got lavender, uh, it's, it's, it's smooth, classic, modern. That's the best way I can describe it. Check this one out. I'm really surprised there's not more hype in the community about this fragrance, but nonetheless, this could be a foundational piece for your collection. Nice, classic, masculine, modern fragrance. Dunhill for Men by Dunhill. All right. Lastly, the one true designer barbershop fragrance, in my opinion, that you know, reflects or gives you that sense of being at the barbershop and the smell without it actually being a barber product, all right? And that fragrance is from the house of YSL Reeve Gauche, all right? This fragrance is the epitome of barbershop, all right? This is kind of like a green aromatic fragrance of course, it's got the lavender, but it's got other spicy notes. It's got star anise, it's got woods. I mean, this is really the closest, again, that you can get to a fragrance, a designer fragrance, in my opinion, that mimics the classic barber products they use on your skin after you get a shave, lining, what have you. This is a classic fragrance. It performs well. Now, the presentation has changed. It's now in a glass bottle with a wood cap. Um, square shape. I think it's cool though if you can have the bottle in its original presentation. This is a nice, nice fragrance that any guy starting out that wants to get classic masculine fragrance, this would be the one to pick up. Classic, classic, classic. Can't say it enough. This is a true traditional men's classic barbershop style fragrance and demand it. All right, All right guys, so these are my first five. I'm gonna give you, I think, another three more groups of fragrances that I think would be great frags for those younger guys starting out, or an older guy starting out that's starting to build his collection and is looking for those pieces, those foundational pieces for his collection to build from. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for tuning in, and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.